I'm watching you. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk about two IPOs that are going out next week that everybody is going to be watching. So I wanted to bring this up so that you guys are aware of these two main IPOs. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a third one that I think that would be my sleeper pick uh, for the IPO. So next week, because I don't think it's getting a lot of attention. Um, but just looking at the fundamentals of this company, I think it has huge potential but a lot of people again are not talking about it. I'm gonna be talking about two key IPOs which we're gonna share uh, before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so the two IPOs that I want you guys to be uh, very aware of or keep an eye on for next week uh, the first one is gonna be Airbnb and the second one is gonna be DoorDash. So let's jump right in and just kind of take a look at these two companies and see what they have to, to offer. Because again, Airbnb and DoorDash has been getting a lot of love um, you know, from people and knowing fully where the business model and why people are getting excited about them. So if you guys um, already know Airbnb is uh, one of these key IPOs and it's a company that allows people uh, just like Uber to leverage their house or their you know maybe their properties and rent them out for a profit which I think it's a brilliant idea if you own a house and you're not using it you might as well rent it out and make money um, a lot of you guys should know about Airbnb already if you haven't used it um, I mean majority of the people have they have tried it uh, the other one is a uh, VRBO so that's a, that's your competition. It's pretty much the same thing. So um, I like Airbnb because they have that reputation. They've been around and they've proven that the business model does work. And so that's why I, I think this is one that I'm really going to be keeping an eye on. Ticket symbol for Airbnb is going to be ABNB. So again, you can rent your vacation home on this platform. Um, so create an account, put your property in there, uh, give all the information that they need, payment method and other stuff. They will do, they'll handle all the stuff behind the scenes and then all you have to do is make sure that your house is ready, clean and, and good to go and people show up and just you know use the house like they would normally do at a hotel when in this case you have the privacy of a home where you can make your own food you know make your own breakfast i mean pretty much live like you're living in your own house but it's a rental property so i i don't i do really like uh the, the business model so the company is seeking to sell about uh 51.9 million shares at the price of about 44 to uh, for the four dollars to fifty dollars um, that is to me that's not a bad price range to start with um, 44 to fifty dollars I'm thinking right out of the gate something is probably gonna spike you're looking at maybe 55 to 60 bucks right off the gate before I start pulling back so uh, at that at that price point if they're selling a hundred uh, fifty one point nine million shares at uh, they say 44 to fifty dollars uh, they so they, they look at this company to value it at about 35 billion so that's what the IPO is actually valuing the company at which is insane and so this IPO again is going to be listed um, sat trading on the Nasdaq on December 10 so put that on your calendar December 10 ticket symbol a B N B is going to start trading I don't know exactly what time but you have to just keep an eye on usually um, not first thing in the morning it's somewhere uh, around mid morning that's when I, I've seen most of the IPOs start trading so you just have to be um, aware and maybe watch some news if you have CNBC keep it on because they can tell you exactly when that when you're gonna start trading so uh, just for for numbers and, and just looking at Airbnb what has been happening this year alone hasn't been super great for Airbnb because of COVID uh, we know that people haven't been traveling a lot so you see their their revenue has actually dropped because of the fact that people are not booking and, and taking all these trips if you compare their current revenue to back in in 2019 um, they are actually down 39 percent which is insane we understand exactly why but now I'm, I'm projecting looking like the future what's going to happen here if we get a vaccine for for COVID and people start traveling again which I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to start traveling because everybody's going to be sick 
and tired of being in the house and not taking trips. So people are going to want to leave the house and go out there and have some fun. So anticipate that revenue for 2021. Again, guys, I'm basing this on the fact that if the vaccine comes out, if we get a, an, a working vaccine and uh, it's distributed to people, people can readily get it. Let's say the vaccine is available to the point where you can go down to your local CVS or your local Walgreens and pick up or get your vaccine from there. I think people are going to get back to normal and this is going to get this stock back on track and uh, start, you know, increase their revenue again. And we'll see. Again, this is all based on the fact that we're speculating what happens uh, with the with the vaccine. So that's my that's my take uh, for Airbnb. So next one on the list is DoorDash. Again, uh, if you guys know. Now that people are trapped in the house, people don't go out to restaurants because they're closed. Your neighborhood restaurant can't open up. You're trying to support small businesses. So what do you do? You order food online. And DoorDash has actually really stepped in and taking this space and own it. And their name is out there. They're leading the space. They have competition, but I mean, I don't see the competition really catching up to them because they, I mean, like they are like you're running a marathon and these guys are like two or three miles ahead of everybody and I don't see how you can catch them unless they fall flat on your face, which I don't anticipate that happening. So uh, DoorDash ticket symbol, it's gonna be D-A-S-H, Dash. That's gonna be their ticket symbol. And these guys are gonna be listed uh, I think on the 9th of December. So December 9th, that's when they're gonna li they list the company. And again, I don't know exactly when uh, what time of the day they're going to start trading, uh, but based on history and what I've seen so far, this usually happens between uh, early morning and, and just early afternoon. So keep an eye um, on, on this one. So again, DoorDash, because a lot of people have been going out there and just ordering food online, try to support again their local uh, small businesses and just because you can't go out to eat, which is crazy. So let's look at the numbers here for DoorDash. So in 2009, DoorDash had a total transaction volume of 8 billion and 263 million orders placed. And then if you compare that to 2020, they have a total of about 543 million orders placed, including 236 million in the third quarter alone. So to me, like this is insane. If you, I mean, you're talking about 263 orders in 2019 compared to 543 orders in 2020. I mean, look at that gap, oh, double the number of orders in, in this case to me, which is crazy. So if you look at their revenue for 2020, it's about 1.9 billion compared to 587 million in 2019. So if you look at just the numbers alone, the COVID has been a really good catalyst for this, uh, for DoorDash. The only question that we want to ask ourselves here is that, is it going to stay? After COVID, we know for sure that when people get excited, they want to go out, go to restaurants and eat, uh, people are not going to be you know, placing orders online anymore. So expect um, maybe a really, really uh, pullback in terms of orders after we get a vaccine and people can go out and then slowly start getting back to where it used to be before the pandemic. So these are companies that are benefiting from the pandemic. So I know for sure they're probably praying that the vaccine shouldn't come out soon because if it does come out, it's really going to impact their business. So um, DoorDash is looking at maybe a uh, price target would be 75 to about $85 for, uh, right off the gate. So that's what they're, they're trying to offer for their IPO, 75 to $85 um, dollar price range. So I think again, Again, to me, it's a little bit expensive. Wait and see for most of these IPOs. Don't jump right in. Always make sure that you wait and see what happens. And so I did mention to you guys that I was going to show you my third one. My third pick is AI. So this is C3 AI. This is a company um, that provides solutions for other big companies to be able to uh, manage their processes. So it uses artificial intelligence. Um, they build all these suites that, uh, let's say, um, AI suites that people can use to actually dictate fraud um, to simplify their processes. So it's it's a SaaS-based um, uh, company. And so a lot of people are not talking about this because it's just under, under the radar. And the ticket symbol for this one is going to be 
AI. For me, this is my sleeper pick because if most companies are moving into uh, the, uh, the cloud and using artificial intelligence to actually minimize errors made by humans and to actually increase efficiency and also increase productivity because humans take a break, AI doesn't. Humans cannot compute at the same sp speed that AI would compute. So there's a lot of things that uh, this company, the, the solution does that humans can do, but do a very slower and error prone approach. So I love the company. I've read a ton about them. Uh, if you look at the customer base, they have significant, they talk about 3M, which talk about Radeon. So they have a, a ton, a ton of uh, good customers that are backing them. So this one again is expected to be listed uh, December 9th. Again, this is one that we don't know exactly what time of the day, but guys, just keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, turn on CNBC and just keep watching and see as soon as these things start popping so you can actually jump right in there. So um, these guys are projecting that by 2024, there are the addressable market for this kind of solution. It's gonna be about a $271 billion by 2024. Again, these are all projections. So who knows, even if it's just 200 billion, that's still tremendous amount of money that you can actually see in this space. So they have alliances with companies like Microsoft, uh, companies like Amazon, IBM, Alphabet. So again, you see that they have huge backing here. The fact that these other big tech names are supporting these companies. They're getting some value to know that their product is good. That's why me and you, we're not gonna see this because this is not a product that we interact with every day. We don't have a big business that needs this kind of application, but the only way we can like really get this is when we do research, I guess, and find these hidden germs that are, we can start investing in. So again, guys, those are the three companies that I am gonna be looking this coming week for their IPOs. Um, again, I'm gonna recap here. The first First one is Airbnb, uh, the second one is DoorDash, and the third one is C3AI. I think um, all these companies, um, they, they're gonna come out of the gate and pop. And here is one thing I wanna caution you guys with, guys. Most often than not with these IPOs, right out of the gate, if you're not day trading it, I would just say, just wait, pump the brakes and just wait. Don't jump right in. These things are gonna come out and fly and then kind of meet some, some resistance, then slowly pull back until you see support somewhere where you can get it. So don't just jump right in unless, again, unless you're day trading it where you can jump in. If you see some momentum, jump in and, and buy and sell. Otherwise, wait and for these things to get the high and then slow back down, calm down before you can jump in. That, that's the way I would approach it. If you're looking to buy this long term, that would be the approach. Don't just jump in because you're going to jump in by the high price. Then when it pulls back, you're going to be carrying a lot of bag there that um, you know, you're going to be under already just out of the gate. So, but if you wait, um, it, it, it spikes and then pull back and you, know, you get in smart investor that's the way you're supposed to do it so that's um not my take let me know in the comment section which of these um ipos are you most excited about and which one do you are you going to be invested in let me know in the comment section again guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content and also if you're looking to get started with investing guys Weibo is currently doing a promotion right now where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get four free stocks just for doing that i'll put the links in the description below and as always guys always do your homework don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.